So awakening, which is often heralded as some grand achievement or some ultimate success even, is after all the most ordinary, uneventful, mundane state. And yet, along the way, we have to have this strong drive and desire for realization. So it's an incredibly sticky situation that we're in. And the funniest part is that the one who's trying to get the realization has to disappear and then the realization is. So it's very tricky because we're building up like I want enlightenment or I will have realization or I will be humble, I will be calm. And much of the path and the practice and our way of understanding what we're doing and making sense of it and giving it value is has to do with reinforcing and building up this I as the one who's going to do it. But the doing it is not a doing, it's a non-doing. And when that I gets out of the way, then the enlightenment or the realization or this state of wholeness is remembered as that which always was and has been and will be the case. And that I can't, the I cannot become realized, but can only get out of the way and stop blocking the sun. You know, it's like the cloud is not going to start shining the sunlight, but the cloud can get out of the way. And then the sun, which was shining anyway, which has always been shining day and night uh, in the summer and in the winter. And when it's cloudy and raining, still the sun is shining. So the role of the cloud is not to turn into a sun. The role of the cloud is to dissolve, to dissipate back into the pure sky. That's a realization. But most people are trying to turn the cloud into a sun. (laughs) Want more? Click here for the full interview. Click here for more awesome clips or here for the full episode. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hi. I'm Kevin, and this is Giovanna. We're traveling around the world talking to spiritual masters about meditation and awakening. Join us on our adventures. All you have to do is click subscribe. 